This is a really serious talk. I, I, I'm just trying to have some interesting conversation here. It's really hard to have interesting conversation when, it, like, commentary and everything with dominoes, okay? It's very, very difficult. What is going on, everybody? My name is Retro Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play. Yo! Abe Funkies! Woo! Okay, so if you guys were wondering what the heck is going on here, because if you look, 15,731 coins. You might be thinking, oh, David, you do not have that. Your username's changed again. What the heck is going on? Well, guys, remember that personal account that I've been talking about for quite some time? I'm just gonna switch to the henchman just in case I get robbed. Um, but uh, yeah. I decided that I was going to take my personal account and uh, port it over because I didn't feel like working on the progress of the gem shards and everything again. So yeah, we're going to be taking the tram and uh, we're going to, you know, I'm just going to take him off and I'm going to throw on, we're going to be playing as my favorite, really? Come on, dude. Is it the hat? It's the hat. It's the hat. It's always the hat with this dude. All right, we're going to go home. All right, by not booking. He is my favorite funky. I'm, I i don't know why, it, he just is my favorite funky. But uh, yeah, here's my house. The one that is my personal account. Like, you know, got this thing, it's a parrot, makes a noise, my dice, it's supposed to move. Yeah, there it goes. And then I also have my little nuke here. That's my light. There's like the mulch pack and the ace pack. I got a, a, a caliente cheesecake. I got some uh, base boosting panels. I got a lot of arcade machines. I got this cool, thingy here i got the the tep mystic hoop because i i beat tep's game got got, got, got got a nice phone here i got you know some, some base some cd racks behind the the radio so yeah uh let, let me just show you my trophy trophy room because here's the main th here's the main reason i did this guys so many people tell me oh you don't really play funkies that much you don't actually like the game look at this trophy room and tell me that i don't like you be funkies I've played this game way too much. Like I have the Fung Junk Trophy, the Cannonball Taylor Trophy, the Scratch with the Gem Shard Urn. I got the Twinks. I got the Sunshine Links. I got Bone Fishing, Heart Hoopla, Wag Words, Blossom Boogie, Rock'em and Sock'em Sprocket, Flipper Fever, Py Pyramid Puzzle, Funky Fighters. L just look at all these, man. And it just keeps going, and keeps going. Look, look, look. Do you see this? I even have the Paradox Green Gem. Okay. I have the entire gem for Funky Town and half of the Kelby Basin gem shards. So what we're going to be doing today is, since I already have all the gems, I didn't really feel like grinding for them, but I still wanted to do a good job with the game. So what we're going to be doing today is, uh, firstly, I would like to show you guys some of the cutscenes you guys haven't seen yet, which is gem shard found, so let's do it. Warning. You now have in your possession a powerful gem shard. Guard it carefully. Master Lox will stop at nothing to gain this shard. I'm sure that even now, his henchmen are alerting him that it has been found. No one knows for sure how many gem shards have survived the explosions of the great disaster. Perhaps there are more. Great Tinker's Ghost! You found another gem shard! This is a fantastic development! If we can reunite the gem shards, we can regain their once awesome power! If there are more, we must find them! Hmm... A complete gem could be the answer to destroying the henchmen. Master Lox fears the power of these gems, and even now has his henchmen searching to find other shards. We must find them first! It's clear now that the crystal gems were shattered and scattered in the explosion, but not destroyed. Now there is only one shard left to find in order to complete this gem. If you can find the last one, we may be able to harness its power and defeat Master Lox. What a great day for all funkies! You have restored a crystal gem and captured its power. Now that both gem shards have been put back together, the gem's power is restored. 
Master Lox's henchmen have not been so lucky. The energy released by the repair gem has caused their programming to go haywire. With Funky's Town littered with piles of broken down henchmen, the city is in dire need of some cleaning. Hope the Boggle are hungry. All of Funky's Town breathes a sigh of relief now that the henchmen are history. However, the whereabouts of Master Lox is a mystery. No one seems to have witnessed his escape. Perhaps he's got more power left than we thought. If he's slipped into another zone, we have no choice but to find him. Leave no stone unturned. Alrighty, guys. So another thing that is uh, completed on this account is the um, Paradox Green. So I have thrown Tad in here, and uh, I'll show it to you just so you guys know that I actually do have it. I believe it was under Liquids. Uh, liquids. Yeah, here it is. The Tad Tonic. And you know, I'll go place it down just so you guys can see how cool this item actually is. I haven't placed it down before, actually, ever. That's pretty cool, actually. All right, so let's head back in here, and uh, I will show you guys the uh, cutscene, and uh, we will take a look at it together. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Congratulations. You have proven your skills, and the Tad are truly impressed. So impressed that they have bestowed upon you their most precious potion, the Tad Tonic. Made from all the tears of joy that nature can bring, it is a powerful brew indeed. The Elder Tad believed this enchanting elixir could help wash away the evil and bring peace to the henchmen. Help! The Henchmen 2.0 have been trying to sever the roots of the Gnomon Tree. Quick, if there was ever a time to use the Tad Tonic, it is now! Great job. The henchmen are crying their lenses out. They are rusting their own joints together with all those tears. I don't even think the heap would accept those pieces of oxidized scrap. The sprocket do have standards. Look, the roots are growing deeper into the soil and new connections are being made. Paradox Green is now stronger than ever. Truly a wonder of nature. Alrighty, so uh, now that I've shown you the Tad stuff, let's show you the Rastro stuff. Because I also, like I said, I beat the entire Paradox screen, and I also have the Paradox screen gem. Because I got all the shards and all the game items and everything. So yeah, uh, I'll show you these uh, two cutscenes, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll get onto it, guys. <laughs> Well done. Your aim is <laughs> out of this world. The Rastro, it seems, are so impressed with your skills that they have given you the blackest hole, much more powerful than your ordinary stellar vortex. The Rastro think this could possibly reveal to the henchmen their true hollow existence. Just don't keep it in your pocket. It is a bottomless pit for loose coins. <laughs> The henchmen are formulating a plan to destroy the Gnomon Tree, and no doubt it is dark and evil. Quick, show those henchmen the light by using the blackest hole! Out of this world! No, really! The henchmen 2.0 are swirling away into oblivion out of this world! Those evil bright lights are nothing more than <laughs> black light now! The Gnomon Tree works fast! Look now, and you will see the tree is sprouting anew! Its roots are stronger, and the future seems brighter. Alrighty, so now that you guys have seen what has happened when you get all the game items and everything from each character, and then what happens when you take down the, uh, the Henchman 2.0, let's, uh, let's see what happens when the whole balance is restored to Paradox Green and everything, shall we? So, uh, yeah. Uh, I figured it'd be the Henchman just because it, I don't, they didn't really release a figure for, um... Ah, oh, crap, I don't know his name. The guy who's, like, in charge of Paradox Screen. Whatever his name is, I don't remember, but, uh, yeah. Uh, let's get into that cutscene, shall we? It is over. It is finally over. You have saved Paradox Screen. 
Through your raw courage and clever thinking, you have helped banish all the henchmen from Paradox Green. For this, all funkies are forever in your debt. I am forever in your debt. I have shouldered the responsibility of caring for the Nomon Tree. Because it was I who was responsible for the chasms. You see, Dr. Tinker tried to harness the power of the Nomon, the power of Mother Terrapin herself. He should have known better. Dr. Tinker could not control the forces. The earth shook and Paradox Green was broken. I should have known better. See, the universe is balance. Hard and soft, weak and strong, give and take. For the Norman to survive the schism, something had to be broken in return. So, as the Norman tree stood tall, Dr. Tinker split into his two halves. One good and one evil. I am sorry I had to keep this secret from you. I am Dr. Tinker. At least, I'm part of him. And while I have dedicated myself to the preservation of the Norman tree, I know not what has become of my other self. I have not seen or heard from him since the great disaster, but no doubt he is up to no good. Stability has been restored in Paradox Green. And while the roots of the Norman tree have grown deeper than I ever believed possible, the chasms remain. Let them remain. Let them remind us that there are many solutions to a problem, and by working together, fun keys can solve any crisis. Everything has its place, and by embracing the different aspects of creation, nature, industry, conservation, and technology, a truly comprehensive approach to life can be achieved. You have gained great knowledge here in Paradox Green. It is now your choice on how you will use it to affect the world. With your help, Master Lux may someday be defeated, and Terrapinia and all the Funkies that dwell here will have a bright future indeed. Good luck with your travels, and may the Great Mother Terrapin guide your way. Alrighty, so, uh... I don't know if you saw that one coming with um, Dr. Tinker and everything, but I'm pretty sure you can guess um, who uh, Dr. Tinker's evil half or whatever is doing. Because I think I know. Don't know for sure because I haven't unlocked the cutscene yet. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure that it Dr. Tinker is Master Lock, so I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I am going to play as Mulch, and I'm going to go on to... Uh, the Paradox Screen Portal. You didn't think it was all going to be cutscenes this episode, did you? No, 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 I did, no, I did, no, I did. We're going to have some gameplay. The uh, reason I want to go to Paradox Screen is because I want to show you guys what the great Nomen Tree looks like because it is actually pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, um, guys, just so you know, uh, you guys hit the like button. I said that if I was going to continue this series, I needed at least four likes, and there are six likes. I know that doesn't seem like a lot because of, you know... So they could be like 10,000 likes, no. But with me being a small YouTuber, that's a huge thing. So I will continue this series, guys, at least until I beat the game. And then I might do another season. But yeah, here we are. The Great Nomen Tree. And here's what it looks like with all of its wondrous stuff. And it just, it looks so amazing. Can I actually click on the center still? No, I can't. I kind of wish that Mayor Say So and everybody who was like a main, uh, a main character in this game would kind of um, be like... I don't know, like, wandering around. But yeah, we've already beaten Mulch and Ace's game. We played them last time, so let's uh, do a little bit of Paradox Green, shall we? So uh, let me know in the comments section what you guys want me to do next episode. Uh, since I'm halfway done with the Kelpie Basin Gem Shard stuff already, I can do that. I'm pretty sure I've gotten Twinks and Sprouts, so it, uh, it would be Glub and Tiki. So let me just place this tile. Uh, but I want to get the, the some gameplay into these since we got since the gem shards and everything were in this episode um but uh yeah let's just focus really hard on this game because uh, some people think oh you just place tiles it's so easy but you gotta you gotta think because if you if you do like some processing here you might be thinking oh this tile was less likely to get played 
uh, and like certain tiles and everything. Like you actually have to think about it because they can. If you don't, if you just place random tiles, I'm telling you, you will lose unless you have insane luck. Cause see what just happened to me? I literally just got like so much tiles. But I, I may be in the lead. But if he runs out of tiles, then uh, he gets to um, he gets to get like a hundred bonus points or some crap like that. What's this going to be? A three? We'll do three. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to do the double three. See if he has anything. Of course he does. Oh, he's a three, four. Oh, so he would have been able to play one no matter what. All right, so if I'm going to go down, I'm at least going to get some decent amount of points. 55 and... Oh, he didn't go out. Oh, he had a draw. Yeah, buddy. That's what I want, man. All right, double six. I will play this double six. All right, what do you got, boy? Dang it, he's able to play. What is this? Uh, a four. Dang it, I can't play over there, so I will play the three, two, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to go out or not. He, he's probably going to go out. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. And yeah, he got like a, only 36 points, but now he's in the lead by 100 points, pretty much. So yeah, double sixes is actually really good to start off with because I get 12 points. Uh, if I can win the second round and the third round, then I should be all right. Uh, let's just do this. Six, four, decent amount of points. Uh, let's see what happens with him. He plays a double blank. Great. Okay, so I got to think about his strategy and what he's trying to do. Even though he's a CPU, he can uh, have some good ideas in there. You might be thinking I'm crazy, but I'm not. Alrighty, so let's just make sure he is... Alright, so 4-5... Oh dang it! Uh, let's do this the blank five. Even though I can't play, he'll be he'll have to play something. Of course, it's a double five because he knows I don't have anything. That's the thing about the CPU that you never know if they're actually taking a look because the CPU knows it's processing everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, yes. If you guys haven't noticed already, I'm not really posting on weekends anymore, just so I can get a breather and a break. But uh, every weekday, I'll be posting a video. It just makes my life my life less crazy, and it makes it so I can have more time to do other things besides record. Because I like to play other video games in my life, and I just don't have time to do both. So Sunday and Saturday are my days to like kind of chill. So um, even though some stuff is pre-recorded, just because I do have a job myself to pay for a lot of things YouTube buys and insurance and everything. So yeah. yeah. This is a really serious talk. I, I, I'm just trying to have some interesting conversation here. It's really hard to have interesting conversation when, it, like, commentary and everything with dominoes. Okay, it's very, very difficult. Oh, I could go out here. What? Uh, I guess I'm not going out. All right, so now it is double points, final round. Anything can happen. Uh, dang it, I have a 6-3 blank. Ooh. Ooh. When it comes to double points, you want to make sure that you don't get the zeros. Play it, play a four zero. No, you can't play a four zero. Four one. I'll do a one six though. Twenty four points. Oh, look at amount, the amount of tiles this man has over here. All right, we will play the double five. Get a crap ton of points. See, I can still win this. I can still win this. Five three. Awesome. Three six. I'm just racking in these points, boys. Ah, oh, dang it. I spoke too soon. Okay, we'll play this one. There. I may sneeze. There you go. It's gone. I did it. That sounded wonderful on camera, right? That sounded... This one. Yeah, you was yeah, smell. It's, yeah, it's great, right? You want to listen to that all day long? I can do it more. Probably gross. That, that needs to get edited out. I don't know if I'll edit it or not. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alrighty, so... Blank three is what I probably want to play. Let's play over here just so I can get some more space. Come on, don't play there. It's okay, because your boy just went out. Do you get bonus points? 36 bonus points. 470 to 289. Yeah, boy. And what's am I going to get? Four, 120 coins. You see, I'm good at that game. And that's basically, I was able to get the tonic pretty fast. But I just wanted the gem shards on my account. So, you know what? If, if you guys want to see me get the actual game items myself, like legit... Let me know. I'll create a spare user and actually get the stuff legit. Even though I I, ha I didn't cheat, I did get it. It just not just wasn't on camera. So yeah. All right. So let's go play a round of rat. Uh, 
Do you guys really want to see Rastro? I mean, there he is. Do you guys want me to see? Yeah, it's... I kind of want to work on a gem shard, honestly. I kind of honestly do. Let's work on the Kelby Basin one. Let me grab glove. Let me just grab all my funkies. There you go. Now I got club. Club. Yes, I have club. I have glove and tiki. Um, let's just uh, head to Kelby Basin and do a round of gloves game. I lied. Unintentionally, I lied. But uh, yeah. Um, it's going to be time to end off this episode of Let's Play UB Funkies, guys. One thing that I do want to say, though, is because I have beaten the Funkies town, like I've gotten the gym and everything, I forgot about this. I can't get robbed by a henchman in Funkies town. Now, if I go to Kelvin Basin or anywhere else, I can get robbed. But here in Funkies town, I could wander around. I could stay here for 10 hours. Wouldn't get robbed. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Let's Play UB Funkies. If you did... Hit that like rating down below. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play. You. Be. Funkies. See you guys.